Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do a flick through of my two most recent journals. Um, these have both been made after following the online course of Nick the Booksmith um, and these are both based on the Scholar's Ledger book that she teaches in her course. So uh, these two books are this one's Agnes and this one's Thomas and I'll explain the reason behind the name in a second. So we'll show you Thomas first. Okay, so this um, is actually exactly true to the one uh, that Nick, Nick the Booksmith um, shows in her course. I've used her free downloads that come with the course. So I've made it to the sort of exact specifications of the course. There's a few little changes like the, the fastening, I've used leather. Um, but these, these books are all made with a hard, hard board. Uh, the covers are quite thick and, and hard. Uh, also, they're made with what we call hollow back binding. So you can see there's a hollow back here. Um, and this one is covered in um, paper and fabric. And then it's all also sealed with the varnish as well. Okay, so the reason behind the, the name Thomas is because this book may have belonged to Thomas Watson. This is him, and this is a short bio about Thomas. He was actually the assistant to Alexander Graham Bell, so he was an inventor. So I imagined that this journal would belong to an inventor. And because of that, I've included some quotes and some stamps and some digi stamps and pre-printing that all relate to that topic. So I'm just going to do a quick flick through. So we've got tea dyed papers, we've got music tea dyed papers. I've included a few old photographs from Alexander Bell time of the new, the first telephone. Here's some embellished paper clips, some old book pages, some rubber stamping, some digi stamping, note paper pockets quite a bit of sewing in here and I've left the left the thread ends um, in if you prefer not to have these you can always cut them off um, here's a little um, journal card that's a photo of actual Alexandra Graham Bell some inventions here that would have inspired Thomas um, here's a little pocket with a handmade tag that I made this, pop, this page has also got a little, a little tab at the top with a little number code. We've got another pocket here um, with a journal card. Some more digi printing, some nice quotes from there by Tesla, Nikola Tesla. We've got another journal card here in a pocket. I do love these number codes that Nick, that Nick uses. The digi stamping, another photo of the, the first telephone. These were just fun online. Another journal card, all sort of related to inventing and creating. Uh, this one, I actually found this old letter from Thomas Watson to Alexandra Bell. Um, talking about the first telephone and how he wanted to support. It's actually got the Bell Telephone Company header there and I've printed it out on tea stained paper so it looks nice and old. But I've actually folded it along the fold lines of the original letter there and I've put it inside um, a pocket in the notebook. I thought that was quite, quite cute. Some more pockets, some more little numbering. More pockets, another photo, some little collage stitching here, another sort of pocket and a kind of band. Quite a few sort of blank pages so people can write and journal as they would like. Another pocket here, kind of reinforced with a little bit of handmade paper. And another pocket there. And then another little corner tuck right here. So that, um, I've got to include in a little clip with this one too. 
So that is the Thomas notebook. I might um, include a few more sort of tags and journal cards here and there in the pockets. Um, but that will soon be available for sale on my online shop. Uh, this one is Agnes and Agnes Arbor. This has a nice sort of wraparound um, tie which is attached to the spine on the back. Agnes was a botanist uh, in the early 1900s. This is Agnes here and this is her little bio. That will tuck into the corner pocket there. So I've included in here lots of botanical imagery and quotes, um, some pages from um, Edith Holden's um, Edwardian Diary, um, and some lovely handmade papers as well. We've got music papers too, there's a few tags with botan botanical images as well. Um, there's a nice little tag there with a tab, some digi printing, a pocket. Mixture of rubber, rubber stamp printing, rubber stamps and digi stamps. Um, got some embellished paper clips here where you can attach photos or journal cards to. Pockets with journal cards inside them. Some Edith Holden pages. Little side pockets. Corner pocket and a corner kind of tuck. Using sort of old botanical book pages, a um, little tag pinned onto the corner of this page here, some stamping and some digi stamping, a little tuck flap there, some more rubber stamping and a quote, lots of tea dyed paper obviously, <coughs> rubber stamping, another pocket with some stitching, this is again from an old vintage um, book um, on, botan on botanics, so little ripped up there. Another one here of a, of a bee, or I think that's a wasp. Um, here's a nice little uh, kind of uh, ribbon uh, pocket with some with some lace roses on the side. Another pocket here, fabrics and fabric stitched. Another little pocket tuck there, half sewn. Um, just a, that's just a printout on copy paper and turned and stitched in. Another decorated paper clip. A little tuck here using uh, tickets. Love that idea from Nick. Another pocket here. More digi stamping. Another pocket here with some old book page ripped out. Um, here's a lovely little side pocket. I'm gonna probably put a little tag, a couple of tags in here. There's another one of these using some printouts from, from Nick's free stash. Some old book pages, some nice handmade paper with a lovely lace pocket in this one. More old book pages, another pocket tuck in there, another corner pocket tuck, another one there, and there we go, and a nice little sort of tag goes in the back. I think I've got sent that by a pen pal. So there's another tuck tuck there. So this again is done in more sort of reddish, deep reddish burgundy colours. Um, it's got the um, metal um, book plates on the front, whereas Thomas's we just have a label. But both of these are varnish sealed as well, so they're really durable hardback note journals. So thank you very much for, for watching.